Travis Kelsey was used to being the center of attention. The roar of the crowd, the crunch of pads, the spotlight, it was his element. But nothing, absolutely nothing, could have prepared him for the maelstrom that erupted the morning after Taylor Swift's latest social media post. It started innocuously enough. Taylor had shared a photo of them, both beaming, at a recent game. A simple, sweet post. But it was the caption that sent shockwaves through the football and music worlds. To the greatest guy ever, and to the most incredible fanbase in the world. Thank you for filling my life with joy, laughter, and unconditional love. You both mean everything to me, it read. The words were simple, yet profound. But it was the emphasis on, both, that had Travis's heart pounding in his chest. As the day wore on, the implications of Taylor's post became painfully clear. Swifties, known for their fierce loyalty, were interpreting the message as a declaration of war. They were dissecting every word, every nuance, and coming to a startling conclusion. Taylor was not just publicly acknowledging their relationship, she was introducing Travis to her massive fanbase as a package deal. The comments section was a battlefield. Some were ecstatic, welcoming Travis into the fold with open arms. But the majority were a different breed entirely. They were protective, possessive, and in some cases, downright hostile. There were demands for Travis to prove himself worthy, accusations of him being a gold digger, and even threats veiled in thinly disguised concern. Travis, cocooned in his football world, had never experienced anything like this. He was a man of action, of physicality. But this was a different kind of game, one where words held more power than any tackle. And he was completely unprepared. As the day wore on, the onslaught grew. News outlets were feasting on the drama, and the hashtag hashtag Travis Kelsey challenge was trending worldwide. It was a challenge issued by the Swifties themselves, a series of impossible tasks designed to test Travis's knowledge of Taylor's music, her fashion, her history. Failure would mean public humiliation. Travis stared at his phone, the screen a blur of notifications. He felt like a deer caught in headlights. How had his life turned into a reality show, and worse, one he hadn't signed up for? He looked at the photo of Taylor, her smile as bright as the stadium lights, and a wave of panic washed over him. He loved her, but had he unwittingly put her in the crosshairs? As the sun began to set, casting long shadows over his once peaceful world, Travis realized he was in for the fight of his life. And it wasn't on the football field. Travis Kelsey was used to the spotlight. The roar of the crowd, the flash of cameras, the constant scrutiny, it was the world he'd navigated since he was a boy. But nothing, absolutely nothing, could have prepared him for the maelstrom that erupted the Monday morning after Taylor Swift's latest Instagram post. It wasn't the usual glamorous shot of Taylor, glittering in sequins and surrounded by a bevy of friends. No, this was different. This was raw, honest, and undeniably directed at the millions of Swifties who'd embraced their relationship with a fervor bordering on obsession. To my incredible fans, the caption read, Your support means the world to me. You've lifted me higher than I ever imagined. But lately, there's been a darkness creeping in. The line between adoration and intrusion is blurring. Some of you have crossed it. A chill ran down Travis's spine. He knew what was coming next. My relationship is sacred, the post continued. It's built on trust, respect, and love. Not on gossip, speculation, and harassment. I need you to remember that the person I'm with is human, with feelings and boundaries just like everyone else. I'm asking for your understanding, your kindness, and most importantly, your respect. The post ended with a simple, yet powerful, hashtag, hashtag love is not war. Travis stared at the phone, his mind racing. He'd been caught in the crossfire of Taylor's meteoric rise before. But this was different. This was a declaration of war, not on him, but on the fans who'd become a force to be reckoned with. The phone started buzzing almost immediately. Texts, calls, emails, a deluge of concern, support, and, inevitably, speculation. His agent, his PR team, even his mom was calling, each voice filled with a mix of worry and disbelief. He was a football player. He was tough. He was supposed to be able to handle anything. 
but as he scrolled through the endless stream of comments, tweets, and news articles, a profound sense of isolation washed over him. He was the man in the middle of a battle he hadn't signed up for. He looked at Taylor's picture again. Her eyes, usually sparkling with mischief or joy, held a steeliness he'd never seen before. This wasn't the Taylor he'd fallen for. This was a woman fighting for her peace, for their peace, and she was ready to do whatever it took to win. And in that moment, as he sat there, surrounded by the chaos of his own making, Travis realized that maybe, just maybe, he was in over his head. Travis Kelsey was used to the spotlight. The roar of the crowd, the intense scrutiny, the constant chatter, it was the oxygen he breathed. But nothing, absolutely nothing, could have prepared him for the maelstrom that erupted the Monday morning after Taylor Swift's latest Instagram post. He was nursing a post-game coffee when his phone buzzed, the notifications a relentless onslaught. A mix of curiosity and dread, he unlocked his phone, his heart pounding in his chest. The first image was Taylor, radiant as ever, a serene smile playing on her lips. But it was the caption that sent a shockwave through him, to my amazing fans, your support means the world to me. Your passion, your creativity, your unwavering loyalty are the reasons I do what I do. However, there's a line between passion and obsession. Respect for my partner is non-negotiable. Your love and support should extend to those closest to me, not tear them down. Let's build a community based on kindness, understanding, and respect. Travis's world tilted. He stared at the phone, the words echoing in his mind. It was a public declaration, a shield, but also a damning indictment of the sometimes toxic fandom that surrounded Taylor. And it was a direct message to him. He'd known the intensity of Taylor's fanbase. The constant speculation, the relentless scrutiny, the invasive questions. But this was different. This was a declaration of war, a call to arms for her fans to protect their relationship. It was an act of love, but it was also a terrifying responsibility. The rest of the day was a blur. His phone wouldn't stop buzzing. News outlets were calling, fans were reacting, the internet was ablaze. Some applauded Taylor's courage, others criticized her for dictating fan behavior. Amidst the chaos, Travis felt isolated. He was a spectator in his own life, watching as his world was turned upside down. That night, he found himself staring at the ceiling, replaying Taylor's words. He was grateful for her protection, for her unwavering support. But he was also scared. Scared of what this meant for their relationship, scared of the pressure he was now under. As sleep finally claimed him, he held on to a flicker of hope. Maybe, just maybe, this would be a turning point. A chance for their love story to be written on their terms, not dictated by the noise outside. The morning sun streamed through the window, casting long shadows across the room. Travis took a deep breath. It was a new day, and with it, a new chapter. He looked at his phone, the notification still relentless. But this time, he felt a surge of determination. He was ready.